All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, got an update on my 2018 420 Rancher. Went mudding a couple weeks ago, and I heard a pop, and it turned out to be this wheel bearing right here. I did trade my BKTs for 30 Zillas. Uh, not too happy about it after I found out what the guy paid for these and what I actually paid for mine. I got screwed. Uh, I have done a couple upgrades. I've done the SS Custom Paint Matched. Radiator relocate. That was fun. I did it myself. Uh, I paint matched it myself. I went to the dealer that I bought the four-wheeler from and uh, Because I had the snorkel paint matched they gave me the paint for that which is the original paint code It's a little bit lighter in person than it is on the video camera, but that's all good. Uh, it looks good. So and it's functional I've done this light bar. This is a night light off of Amazon. It's a little uh, eight inch light bar uh, just true spot. It is pretty dang bright. I'll have to do a video of that uh, Whenever I did my radiator relocate This kit that I bought from SS customs off of eBay You don't have to cut any of your brackets. You see you have that one still sticking out over here All the hardware is stainless uh, And he makes it to where All you have to do is just it comes with these you just relocate these relocate that there you got the little fitting right there. You plug into the stock radiator tube, clamp it down real nice and good. Uh, and the same thing on the other side. I was having a problem overheating after I installed my winch. For whatever reason, I guess there wasn't enough air coming through here, through the bottom. Right here, going through the bottom of the radiator. Uh, I'm not too entirely sure, but uh, I did the relocate and I haven't had problems with it yet. I'm a little low on fluid right now. Uh, but that's all good. I carry a bottle with me. Uh, I have done rock lights. I went with the ox beam rock lights So I've got two rock lights up here One two You can see them kind of right there. Now I ran the wires here And here and ran the wire for this right there Like I said, I was sitting on 28 BKTs and I jumped up to 30 Zillas uh, You can see that is no lift at all. I'm getting a stretch and a lift here pretty soon, but there's without trimming plastics. How close I can't even get my finger in there. I can't even get my pinky in there. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty tight. Uh, like I said, I wasn't happy with the deal because these are pretty, pretty bad worn down. Um, guy drove five and a half hours to come find, see me and trade me and it was at night, got them off the truck. They all looked good. They were all nice and cleaned up. Got them back home, put them on the next day and found a slash in that tire, uh, $600 later. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm at. I got tires at all the tires holder, finally. Uh, I did take the rancher emblem off the back. It was falling off. I uh, took my Honda of Tyler off the back too. Um, what else? What have I done? Oh, I did the uh, True Dual Miller FX whips, True uh, or the Dual True Orange whips. They're two foot. I love them. They're bright. And I've done the original light bar that was on the four wheeler when I bought it. That was up front in between the grill. I bought these and those brackets right there and uh, installed them. They're pretty bright. Uh, my whips and my rock lights are all wired to this. Can't really tell that they're True Orange, but. You can kind of see there. Uh, then I've got my winch hook up there. I turned it sideways. My other one, this is my forward light bar. And then that is my rear light bar back there. And I have them all wired into my battery box. It's a rat's nest right now. I'm not too entirely loving that. Uh, Got to figure something out with that. But... Uh, Got all that wired up to relays. Everything on here is a relay except for these. This is on a relay. The front light bar is on a relay. And the nice thing about the SS Custom Relocate is I wouldn't, I didn't have to add any wire. I just, right there, stretched my vent tube just a little bit for the fan. Fan kicks on, kicks off. Perfect. Uh, paint has held up pretty good. Uh, like I said, it's about four or five coats of, no, probably about seven coats of primer and uh, about seven or eight uh, coats of paint and then i did one 
bottle of clear, one can of clear. It was four coats, I think. It's holding up pretty good. Uh, I have done, like I said, I tr tested these out and I've got the videos. I just got to add them there about 25 minutes long. Some of them have cuss words in them, so I can't really post that on YouTube due to new YouTube rules and stuff like that. But uh, they pulled it pretty good. I got some videos I'll have to post up of us when we went that weekend. It turned them perfectly fine. It bogged down just a little bit. I think if I stay with the 30s, Zillas, I am going to get like a 35 or a 53% gear reduction. The 53 only in case I want to go bigger later. I don't really like these wheels. Uh, they're chewed up. That's another reason I didn't like it because they were crap. Uh, they're chewed up, beat up, everything. Uh, I will get back to you. I got some more projects I'll show you all here in a minute.